Hi, this is Frankie. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, so we're going to do one right now. Um, I haven't really had a computer that I could do it on, so I'm using my dad's at the moment. Uh, luckily, he, his works fine because he doesn't do all sorts of crazy stuff on it. Um, what we're doing right now is we're going to make algebraic calculators. So um, a lot of times uh, a, simil a common task is to have a program that takes some input and gives some output. It's usually done a lot in um, actual programming classes, but it's usually on the command line, where like it's like it's like what would you like? Um, how many how many dogs do you have? And you type five, and it's like, okay, how big are the dogs? And you say fifteen pounds each or something, and it's like, okay, well you will need thirty five pounds of dog food every week or something like that. Um, there's a lot of like little things you give it an input and it gives you an output, and we're gonna do a variation of that. Um, by request of uh, one of my subscribers, and it's going to use mathematical functions. Um, one of the advantages of doing it with graphical user interfaces, you'll see, is that it updates in real time. You don't actually have to press enter like you would, like you don't have to say 5, enter, 7, enter, or whatever. It's just, it happens. So we're going to start by making our user interface. Well, actually, before we can do that, we're going to need to figure out what we want it to do. So we're going to be doing, um, how about logarithms? So we're going to take the, the log base 10 of a number. It's not actually important what that means, it's just uh, what we're using for an example. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add a text field, which we call an edit. And we're going to need to give it a, va a variable called user input. And we can set a default value like 10 or something. So when it loads up, it's going to have the number 10 in it. And then we're also going to have another one, output. And it's not going to have any uh, text in it, so we'll just leave that blank. And then we're going to show it uh, and give it a title like log calc and return. So what we what will happen when we run this is you'll see a window and it comes up and it has um, the user's input number and this will be where our output goes. You could spice it up and add some sort of text that explains what it's actually doing, um, but we're not going to do that at the moment. And then we're going to add one thing that I always put in uh, GUI programs, which is GUI close exit app which basically means when we close a window, the program will exit, which is a lot of times what you want. Um, and then we're going to do one more thing in here. We're going to use what's called a G label. So G, they changed it, is going to be the name of our label. And what this is going to do is whenever anything changes in our user's input box, it's going to come down to our label and execute all the code in here. Okay. So in here, we're going to do GUI submit no hide. And what that does is it's going to take these Vs, so uh, our user input and our output, and it's going to put them in the variables user input and output. So we could have like message box user input and say is the input. And whenever they change the input, like say we type 5, it'll change that. Um, but that's not exactly what we want to do with it. Rather, we want to take the logarithm of it. So we'll call it, make a variable called user log is the log of user input. And so this variable will have whatever the logarithm is. And then we're going to change our output field. So we'll say GUI control, and we leave the subcommand blank, and then the control ID, in this case, is going to be output, the name of the control. These are the, the handles for the controls. So anytime you want to interact with the, the two edit fields, you have to call them by their name, user input and output. And then we can set the text. So we'll change it to user log. 
Now this is a very simple calculator, um, but functional. So we want to find the log of 50, 500, 5009. And we can make this look nicer and prettier and everything, but that's basically um, how a calculator like that works. And then if you wanted to change it, you could um, use a different algebraic function. It could calculate the number of pancakes it takes to shingle a doghouse. Whatever you wanted to calculate, you can do it. And uh, there's all sorts of ways to make it pretty, like we can make the width larger here, and we can have a, a text field before it, and all sorts of stuff like that. But really, this is all you need to have a functional calculator. And then when you're at work and you're like, oh, oh, I really need to find the log of 901, you have your calculator. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I'll hopefully be making more soon um, when I can find the time and when I can use this computer for my auto hotkey tutorials. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.